Hello and welcome to WP Forms. In this video, we're going to learn how to allow users to submit images to your WordPress site. If you're looking for a way to allow users to upload or submit an image to your site, but don't want to give them access to actually log in to do so, creating a simple form can take care of that problem for you. An image upload form can save you a ton of time by allowing your users to upload any necessary images for you, rather than having to collect and download the images and then upload them to your site yourself. This can help with anything from submitting profile photos, adding images to a guest blog submission, and even testimonials of your products, and all without needing to give your users access to log into your site. After logging into your WordPress site, we'll first go to the plugins page and install WP Forms to your site. If you haven't done so already, you can download the plugin from the Downloads tab in your WP Forms account area. If you don't have a WP Forms account, you can go to wpforms.com forward slash YouTube to get 50% off your purchase. We can head back to our WordPress site, and on the Plugins page, we'll click on the Add New button on the top left corner, and then click on the Upload Plugin button. We'll then choose our file, select WP Forms, and activate it once it's done installing. Afterwards, we'll need to verify your copy of WP Forms by entering the license key in the Settings page of WP Forms. You can find the key on the Downloads page of your WP Forms account, and once the license key has been verified, we can get started. We'll want to go over to the left and click on the Add New option under WP Forms. Once we're in the Form Builder, let's give our form a name, and we'll use the simple contact form template as the base for our form. We've got some default fields, like for a user's name, email, and some comments. In order to allow users to submit an image, we'll need to add in a file upload field, which can be found on the left under the Fancy Field section. Click on it, drag it over to the right, and place it wherever you'd like it to go on the form. If you click on the File Upload field, you can add directions or a short description for this field in the Description text box. You can also rename the field if you'd like, and set up any restrictions or specifications. You can opt to allow only certain file types, like JPEGs or PNG, by writing in the extension in the Allowed Extension field box and separating each one with a comma. You can specify the maximum file size that your site will allow, and also specify the number of files you'll accept at one time. Under the Advanced Options tab, you'll see a few additional settings. You can change the style of the file upload field from Modern to Classic if you prefer. However, if you use the Classic style, your users will only be able to upload one file at a time. The Modern style will allow users to upload multiple files at once if you allow it, and they'll also be able to drag and drop the files into this field from their computer. You'll also see a checkbox labeled Store File in WordPress Media Library. You'll need to make sure to check this box so that you can access the uploaded images from your media library in the WordPress dashboard of your site. Now that our form is done, let's click on the Save button on the top right corner and head over to the Settings tab on the left and set up our notification settings. The admin email in this field is the admin email address for your WordPress website, so if you'd like the notification to go to a different email address, you can make that change in this field here. Make any necessary changes to your notification settings, and afterwards, let's configure our confirmation settings. You can choose between three different options that the user will see after they've submitted the form, message, show page, or go to URL. We'll stay with the default message option for now. Once you've made your changes, we'll click on the Save button again, and we're ready to embed our image file upload form to our site. Go to your dashboard and click on Pages, Add New, and let's add a title. From there, we'll click on the plus icon below the title and either scroll down to widgets to find WP Forms, or you can type WP Forms in the search bar above. We'll then click on our image file upload form, hit Publish, and we're all set. But let's preview our image form first by clicking on the link to the page and testing it out. You'll be able to find the uploaded file in the Entries page of WP Forms and in your WordPress Media Library. If you have any questions or concerns, please be sure to visit wpforms.com and check out our documentation page, which has step-by-step -step written instructions for all of our features and add-ons. If you need any extra technical help, 
please go to our contact page and reach out to our support team. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed and found this video helpful, subscribe to our YouTube channel, where you can learn more about building smarter forms with WP Forms through our how-to videos and more.